Hello, super great kids, and how are you? This is one of three episodes this week for Halloween. If you find the idea of Baba Yaga, the scariest witch in the world, just a little bit too scary, then this old tale about a daft chicken is for you. It's a chain story, a bit like the old woman and the pig. Remember that one? It's funny and it's not scary. If you were going to tell a scary story, or a funny story, which character would you make your story about? A ghost? A giant? Your pet? Or even a chicken? Chickens can be very funny. Have a think about it while we have a quick word with the grown-ups. Hello, super great kids. I'm back. Well, did you decide who you would tell your story about? You could even tell this story you're about to hear, but instead of the main character being a chicken, you could have um, a Halloween character, like... A werewolf. Ow! Right, are you ready for our tale? Here's Baden Prince Jr. Mouth open. Story jump out. So this story is called No Way Jose. There once was a chicken called Jose. And there were two things you need to know about Jose. One is Jose loved to sing. And two, Jose had a terrible, terrible, terrible voice. When he sang, all the birds would put their feathers over their heads and all the insects would use their wings to cover their ears. He got invited to go to a wedding. And he was very excited because he thought when he gets to the wedding, he's going to sing for the assembled crowd. His mother, his mother was a little bit overprotective and a bit worried about him and didn't actually want him to go. But Jose was so excited and he pleaded and he begged and he badgered and he harassed her. So in the end, she said yes. She got him dressed up in his best white suit of feathers and she polished his beak for him, and she sent him off down the road saying, Now remember, Jose, don't stop along the way, and don't talk to anyone. And off went Jose down the road, singing at the top of his voice, and every bird that heard him sing put their wings and their feathers over their heads, and every insect that heard him sing put their wings over their ears. As he's walking along, he sees this big, fat, juicy, green caterpillar. Now, if there's one thing that a chicken loves to eat, it's a big, fat, juicy caterpillar. But he remembers his mother's words. He remembered, she said, don't stop along the way and don't talk to anyone. So he carries on walking and he carries on singing. And every time he sings, the birds put their feathers over their heads, and every time he sings, the insects put their wings over their ears. As he's going along, he then sees a grasshopper, a big, fat, juicy, green grasshopper. And if there's one thing that a chicken likes more than a big, fat, juicy, green caterpillar, it's a grasshopper. But he remembers what his mother says, don't stop along the way and don't talk to anyone. So he carries on walking and he carries on singing. And those poor birds have to put their feathers over their heads. And those poor insects have to put their wings over their ears. And the next thing he knows, he comes across the biggest, fattest, juiciest looking worm you've ever seen. He's tempted. But he remembers his mother says, don't stop along the way and don't talk to anyone. And then, as he carries on walking, he comes across a bush, covered, smothered in big, red, juicy berries. Ooh, the one thing 
that a chicken would love more than he would love a caterpillar, more than he would love a grasshopper, more than he would love a worm, is a big, red, juicy berry. And this time, Jose can't resist the temptation. He says to himself, go on, just one, just one. And he plucks one big, red, juicy berry and gulps it down. But you know what the trouble is with big, red, juicy berries, don't you? You can't just eat one. So having had one, he has another. And another. And another, and another, and another, and another. And before you know it, he's eaten the lot. And then he carries on down the road, singing with the poor birds having to put their feathers over their heads and the insects having to put their wings over their ears. As he's walking along and singing, he starts to play that game. You know that game where you try and look at the end of your nose and you try and you try until you go cross-eyed? And he goes, oh no! Because he realized that his big shiny beak is covered in red berry juice. He can't turn up at the wedding looking like that. So across the road, he sees a big patch of grass waving in the wind. And he calls out to the grass and says, Grass, grass, wave, wave in the wind and wipe this juice from off my nose because otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble. And the grass turns round and looks at him and says, No way, Jose. That gets him a bit mad. He sees a flock of sheep and he says to the sheep, 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 eat grass. Grass won't wave in the wind and wipe this juice from off my nose. And the sheep say, No way, Jose. And that makes him even more mad. He calls out to the wolf and he says, Wolf, wolf, chase sheep. Sheep won't eat grass. Grass won't wave in the wind and wipe the juice from off my nose. And the wolf says, No way, Jose. So he sees a dog and he calls out to the dog saying, Dog, dog, bite wolf. Wolf won't chase sheep. Sheep won't eat grass. Grass won't wave in the wind and wipe the juice from off my nose. And I'm going to be in big trouble. And the dog says, no way, Jose. So he calls out to the man who's walking along the road and he says, Man, take stick, beat dog. Dog won't bite wolf. Wolf won't chase sheep. Sheep won't eat grass. Grass won't wave and wipe the juice from off my nose and I'm going to be in big trouble. Now it turns out that the man liked chickens. No, 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 no. I didn't say he liked chicken. That would have been, ooh, no, no, he liked chickens. So he said to Jose, I'll do it. And he took the stick and he beat the dog. The dog bit the wolf. The wolf chased the sheep. The sheep ate the grass. The grass waved in the wind and wiped the juice from off Jose's nose. And he didn't get in big trouble. He was so happy, he ran to the church threw open the door and said, I'm here to sing for you. And the entire congregation of the church turned around and said, No way, Jose. Mouth open, story jump back in. Thanks, Baden, and thanks for listening. And try not to eat any caterpillars or grasshoppers or hairy toes on your way to school. No, don't be silly, Kim. Ah, oh, poor Jose. He just wanted to sing. Do you think you'd have let him sing for you? I reckon you probably would, because super great kids tend to be kind. Do you have anyone in your family like Jose who just cannot sing? My mum always said, it doesn't matter what you sound like, you just have to make a happy noise. Good advice. 
If you enjoyed this story, it's a good one to try telling yourself. Go on, give it a go. Or maybe you could draw a story map of the wolf, the sheep, the dog, the man, the stick and the grass. Oh, and of course, Jose the chicken. And send it to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash super great kids stories. Now, a quick dip into my bag of happies. You've been sending in lots of lovely pictures which make our hearts sing. Here's my picks for this week. Thanks to Abby, who sent us a beautiful picture inspired by the story from the US Virgin Islands, Jack and the Two-Headed Giant. I really like the way you've drawn Jack playing his flute and looking so small in comparison to the huge two-headed giant with his green skin and orange eyes. Thank you. And thanks to six-year-old Theo from California, who sent in a picture inspired by the story how tadpoles lost their tails, with Papa Jar throwing down all the wriggling little tadpoles and Trouble looking like he's making mischief with his long, tickly fingers. Great writing, too. Thanks for sharing that, Theo. And thanks to five-year-old Maria, who's drawn a beautiful picture of a sea witch, inspired by a story from our Super Great Scary Stories podcast. Maria... Your sea witch is gruesomely magnificent. I love her green slimy hair and her tail with all the colours of the sea upon it. How terrifying to have someone like that bossing you around in your own home. Poor Jack. Thanks so much for sharing this. A good story to listen to at Halloween. Thanks very much all of you for supporting us on Apple and Patreon. If you'd like to support us, you can find more details on our website at supergreatkidstories.com. I hope those of you marking Halloween have a happy and a scary one. See you soon and watch out for the wolves. Ow! <laughs>